1407 Folsom Drive in the Bison Ridge neighbourhood in West Windsor. Hello everybody, I'm Realtor Robert Crow here in Northern Colorado with Remax. This is a phenomenal property. There are so many features and finishes, including these mountain views from the front of the home that I am so excited to share with you on this video. This is a beautiful neighborhood. It is so quiet over here. And this home has the advantage of being literally a 30 second walk across from the neighborhood park. I'll show you that towards the end of the video. But we are greeted by this beautiful stone portico uh, as we enter the home, gleaming hardwoods there. Our first room off to the left, through these glass and wood double doors is the home office, or you might like to call it the study. In fact, because there's a closet in here, it could be used if needed uh, as a guest bedroom. Plenty of space, as you can see, we had that roll top desk, there it is, and there's a huge oversized um, armchair in here. It also connects to a full bathroom. Tile, flooring, tile countertops, beautiful quality woodwork. And then this is a full bathroom because you have the shower and the tub there. This connects through to the hallway of the home. Quick glimpse of the stairs to the upper level. But first, we're gonna take a quick look at the vaulted ceiling as you walk in. Little uh, uh, window up there for extra light. And you'll hear me say frequently in this video, the light in this property is phenomenal because of all those extra windows that were put in. This is a custom home built by a custom builder. So you're gonna see quality and additional features and benefits throughout. That was the formal dining area. You could easily host a party for six, eight, 10, people in that space. This is your casual dining area, very spacious too, again with the extra windows. That looks out onto a covered, uh, very private covered patio. This whole living area is open plan, so casual dining, gourmet kitchen, and the family room. That is beautiful. Gas fireplace, window after window after window. I love the setup in this kitchen because you've got a breakfast bar there with the sink. You've got an island there with the with the stovetop. It's like you've got sort of two islands in the kitchen. Glass fronted cabinets, gleaming hardwood floors. It's considered a gourmet kitchen. And anytime you hear the word gourmet and kitchen, what you're looking for are the double ovens. Uh, in-wall double ovens or in-cabinet in this case, a five burner range dishwasher microwave as well, of course. And talking about quality, my mom back in England always taught me that you can tell quality in cabinetry when you've got those dovetail drawers, not just the nails and the, and, and, uh, the, the railings, but dovetail is always a great example of good solid quality cabinetry. Here's the family room. We talked a little bit about the gas fireplace, not a single nail hole in that beautiful wood surround. And then we're gonna go on through into the primary bedroom. On our right there is a linen closet. We're greeted by French doors. And this is an incredibly spacious primary bedroom. You'll see when you walk in, uh, vaulted ceilings, again with the extra windows. Look at the phenomenal light in here. This video camera doesn't have any kind of extra lighting packages on it. You're seeing it as it is. Super spacious. Uh, you've got the two side tables and then you've got three, actually four other additional pieces of furniture in that bedroom and still plenty of room to move around. Here we are in the ensuite primary bathroom. You've got the soaking, jetted soaking tub with twin seats there. All tile in here. I do love the inlaid smaller tile on the bathroom floor. Private water closet. You have separate sinks. Similarly beautiful cabinetry. Walk-in shower. All tile surround there. And you'll also see that it has a mud set pan, which basically means that you've got tile on the floor, if you're not familiar with that term. And we've got the bench. Sinks, water closet. We're gonna take a quick peek inside of the primary walk-in closet here. 
This is a large closet. I don't show all of it to you because we still have some of the owner's personal items on those shelves. We did stage this bit for you, but trust me, it's about twice the size as what you see there. Come on around, back through the primary. We'll take one last look here again. Beautiful blinds. This home is as clean as a whistle. The pride of ownership really shows. It shines throughout. So back through the kitchen. Glimpse there of the casual dining. I want to show off more of that counter space to you. That brandy is half empty. That wasn't me, just so you know. That's our walk-in pantry. One of our twin thermostats. We've got a glass door going down to the basement. We'll see that towards the end of the video. And then here's our main floor laundry. Lots of cabinetry, lots of counter space. The washer and dryer is included. Look at those upper cabinets. So there's really no shortage of space in this room at all. And the laundry functions as a drop zone or a mud room. That's a little uh, closet. And then that's the door to our three car garage. The three car garage is huge. Um, it has windows in there as well uh, for extra light. And also it's insulated both in the door and the walls. Here's our staircase to the upper level. I like those open railings. First of our three bedrooms on this upper level. This is my favorite, probably because of the door there, lets in all that light, but also you can open it up on those warmer Colorado days and let the air come in. Great views off that uh, from that door as well. And there's a special railing as well, so nobody can fall out or shouldn't fall out, I should say. I love this room because of the little bench area there. Yep, whoever gets this room, that's going to be the reason they choose that. So they could put a little, little seating reading area. It connects to the third guest bedroom through this shared bathroom. Twin sinks. And then like with the bathroom that we saw on the main level, you've got a tile surround. And it's a full bathroom. So you have that sink and tub. Here's that third guest bedroom. The two windows there in the corner and the next shot just shows all the light that comes in from there. All right, we are gonna go into the next guest bathroom on this level. Well, we're gonna show off all the storage in this bedroom first, but then come pop round uh, on the landing. We call these landings in the UK. I've been here 23 years, but sometimes I forget what's British American and what's American American, or British English and what's American English. So this is a little surprise, little makeup counter. So if you have a couple of people sharing this bathroom and somebody needs to do their makeup, but can't get into the sink area because they're taking a shower or whatever, whoever is waiting can use that little makeup counter. What a great and thoughtful idea. I absolutely love that. And as with the other bathrooms, all tile there, no plastic inserts, that's fantastic. So, we are going to go around the corner and show off my favorite room of all time on this level. It's the bonus room above the garage. So it spans the three bays of that garage. It could be used as a music room. It could be used as an extra hangout room for your guests. Gosh, you could use it as a bedroom. There's plenty of spaces where you could build in a closet or three. And you've got extra windows off there, seating area, built-ins towards the back there. That is a phenomenal, phenomenal space. And I'm gonna say, well, you can put a ping pong table up there or a foosball table. Well, we've got those in the basement. Now on this upper level is the first of your train, very, very recently installed train furnaces. That is a top of the line train furnace. And you can see there, they've got twin AC units outside. All right, we're coming on round and down to a custom finished basement. This is a real treat. Room for a ping pong table. That's negotiable if you're thinking about adding that to the sale. We, we can talk about that. The, um, the weight machine there and the elliptical, those are negotiable. See the built-in cabinet there for all your games. You have a wet bar with a KitchenAid glass front refrigerator. There are those two pieces of equipment. Okay, I let the cat out of the bag there. You can just see the double doors of that movie room. Wait till you see this. Full bathroom in this basement. Interesting fact about that gym area. 
You could add a wall in there if you wanted and turn that into yet another bedroom if necessary. The sellers designed it that way specifically. So glass front, KitchenAid refrigerator. This home, by the way, has a reverse osmosis filtration system. That's phenomenal. The, the sink there and the sink in the kitchen connect to that. Look at that rope lighting. And then this staged terraced. I just love in-home movie theatres. Uh, this was something that, gosh, I fell in love with when I first saw in this home. Those walls are specially insulated. That is an incredible uh, projector there with a very special lens. Six seats, eight people, but plenty of room in front. It's all controlled by that little panel on the wall. That is the real deal. 116 inch custom screen. When you go there, I bet people just walk through the front door and head straight down to the movie theater and we'll see the rest later. That's what I do. Foosball table, that's negotiable. Pool table, that's negotiable. But look at all this space you have down here. And again, look at all that light. I love that shelf that's built in and I'm gonna show you why. This is so thoughtful. On the shelf, they even have these little niches or niches cut in. Do you know why? So you can rest your pool cue against it. What a great idea. Through those French doors there is the unfinished area. This basement's about 75% finished. So you've got some storage. Uh, there's also a seasonal finished closet in there as well. And if you look there where that pool table is, that's again where we could go ahead. I say we could, if you wanted to, you could wall that in to create that extra bedroom, especially since there's a full bathroom there as well. We're gonna zip around. I haven't played ping pong in forever. Let me know if I'm here showing you this house, I wanna play at ping pong. Twin Wi-Fi control thermostats. And look, we're gonna head out and take a look at this very private covered patio at the back of the home. The significant part of the yard on this property is on the side because it's a corner lot, but look how beautifully private that area is. Super wooded. It's so quiet. It's so quiet this entire neighborhood. The house is incredibly quiet. When you're in there and you've got all the doors closed up, all you can hear is the grandfather clock. It's great. So take this little patio out. Uh, the HOA would allow you to uh, fence off a section of this yard if that's what you wanted, if you had pets. And then I'm gonna take you around the corner here to look at some of those mountain views. And you can just there see the top of that covered area down by the kiddie park. All right, come on, follow me. Woohoo! I got in my jet plane, my rocket. That's like a 30 second walk. Uh, I obviously fast forwarded it for you. <laughs> this playground is great. Wait till you walk on that membrane there. It's like a, like a rubber membrane. It's springy like a trampoline. So if you fell down while fall, like climbing on the, on the rock wall, you should be okay. There's the mountain views from the park area. Sit on the bench, sit on the bench, and then look, there's your future home right across the street. And I thought we'd finish up with a drone shot from the back of the house showing off those incredible Colorado mountains. I'm realtor Robert Crow here in Northern Colorado with Remax Alliance. Thank you for joining me on a walking tour, a video walking tour of my new listing at 1407 Folsom Drive in West Windsor, Colorado. Any questions, reach out to me using the information on screen. And as always, have a smashing day.